This is the ORAP. I am Kelsey Thomas. Here are the stories making headlines today. Opposition spokesman on health, Dr. Maurice Guy, today called for a change in the government's approach to the country's vaccination campaign. According to Guy, more Jamaicans would be willing to take the jab if the country's campaign was headed by non-political actors. Guy was reacting to a poll which found that majority of Jamaicans were against mandatory vaccinations, particularly for children 5 to 17 years old. With just about 23% of Jamaicans fully vaccinated against COVID-19, Jamaica has one of the lowest vaccination rates in the Latin American and Caribbean region. Meanwhile, the long-awaited Disabilities Act, which passed in 2014, came into effect today. The Act brings legislation which protects and promotes equal rights for the disabled while prohibiting discrimination against them. Jamaica is now one of six countries within the Caribbean to establish specific legislation for people with disabilities. On the crime scene, a businessman died as a result of injuries he sustained in a two-vehicle crash on Greenvale Road in Mandeville on Sunday night. Reports are that about 8.30 p.m., the man was driving along the roadway when he collided with another vehicle traveling in the opposite direction. Police say the drivers of both vehicles were taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead and the other driver was admitted. In other news, Chief Justice Brian Sykes today said the fire which gutted the Brownstone Courthouse on Sunday has significantly disrupted the court's operations. Following an assessment of the damage, Sykes said several files were lost in the blaze which destroyed the building constructed in 1895. The cause of the fire is still unknown. And Justice Sykes also ruled this afternoon that the recordings of purported conversations between alleged members of the St. Catherine Base Klansman Gang meet the admissibility standards under the Evidence Amendment Act 2015. As a consequence, the court will begin hearing these recordings tomorrow morning. In entertainment, dancehall artist Jashi and producer Dane Ray escaped with warnings when they appeared before a parish court judge in Santa Cruz today. Both men were answering to charges under the Disaster Risk Management Act stemming from a New Year's Eve event. The musicians pleaded guilty to a charge of not wearing a mask before they were admonished by the parish court judge. And nine-time Grammy nominees and internationally renowned reggae band Third World has received the keys to Hollywood, Florida. The presentation was made by Mayor of Hollywood Josh Levy during a concert last weekend, which saw the band as headline acts. During his speech, Levy described the members of Third World as special people who have made tremendous contributions to music and love as reggae ambassadors. This has been Aura. Check out these and other stories on jamaicaobserver.com. I am Kelsey Thomas.